In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple service that you can provide to local businesses to help them get more Google reviews. And the way we're going to be getting them more Google reviews is through Go High Level by launching them Google review campaigns and by setting up simple Google review automations to help them get reviews every time they service their customers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Go High Level with their Google My Business. I'm going to show you how to create Google review campaigns, how to launch those campaigns. And also, I'm going to show you how to create review automations. And I'm also going to show you a couple ways you can sell the service. So why is it even important for local businesses to have high Google reviews? Well, it's important because having Google reviews are a game changer, whether you're a small business or a large business. Not only do they showcase the business's reputation, but they also help influence potential customers from making a purchasing decision from your client's business or another business. And when you combine the power of Google reviews and the marketing power of Go High Level, your clients will have a complete recipe for success. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just jump inside your client's sub account and then you're just going to want to connect your Google My Business with this sub account. So to do so, you'll just come over here to settings, then go to where it says integrations. And then you just want to connect their Google account. And then after you're done connecting their Google account, you'll then see this option right here where it says Google My Business. And then you're just going to want to connect their Google My Business page. And then once you do that, their Google My Business account will be connected to the sub account. So now they can send Google review requests through this account. So next, you're just going to want to come over here to where it says automation, then click on create new workflow, start from scratch. So in here is where we're going to build out the Google review campaign. And the whole point of this campaign is to help our clients get 30 to 100 new Google reviews fairly quick. And I'm going to show you how that works later. But for now, we can start building this out. So you're just going to want to title this to make everything more organized. So we could just title this Google review campaign and click on save. So for this campaign, we don't necessarily have to worry about any triggers because we're going to be launching this campaign manually. So the first action that we're going to add is going to be an SMS. And in this first initial text message, you're going to want to come up with a good offer to use to incentivize your client's customers to leave a review. So I could just click over here, search SMS. And then this is the offer that I came up with. It says, hello, contact first name. All of us at location name, appreciate your business. Business. We would love to hear your feedback about our company and earn a few reviews. Each person that leaves a five star review with a message within the next seven days will be entered to win a $100 gift card. We will choose one winner at random in a week from now and send them the gift. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. And then down here is where I'll put my client's review link. And to get this link, you'll just go to settings, reputation management, and then you'll see where it says generate Google review link. And then you'll just copy that link and then put it in here. And you can change this up to whatever you want. You just want to make sure that you have a decent enough offer so that someone actually takes time out of their day to leave a review. So in this case, if they leave a review, you, they'll be put into a contest for a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card. And you want to make sure that your client is okay with the offer that you're running as well. So if my client isn't willing to give away a hundred dollar gift card, then I would just change this up. So after you're done creating your review offer, you can go ahead and click save action. And that's going to be the first text message that's sent out. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and add an email as well. So I'm just going to subject it something like this contact first name, we are giving away $100. And then for the email, I'm basically going to be sending them the same message, but in email format and then click save action. So after that, I can go ahead and type in wait, have it wait one day. And then you can add something else like another text message or another email. And when you're building this out, you can create this however you want, you could create this however long you want, because the most important part isn't going to be how you build out this campaign, it's going to be your offer. So I'm going to go ahead and add another email. So for the second email, I'm going to say something like this, did you get our email from yesterday? There are only a few days left, so we wanted to send you an email again. Here it is from yesterday. And then basically just going over the offer again, which is a chance to win a $100 gift card in exchange for a review. So I'm just going to click on save. And then we can come over here and have it wait for two more days. And click save action. And then we can add another email. And then in this email, I could just add some scarcity telling them that we're a few reviews away and just letting them know that this contest is almost over. So if they want to win that $100 gift card, then they have to act fast and leave a review. And then when I'm done with that, I could just click save action. So when you build out this campaign, I only recommend you send one, maybe two text messages with this offer because you don't want to be spamming your clients customers with a whole bunch of text messages. After you send one or two text messages, more than likely they would have already seen these text messages. And if they're not acting on your offer, then obviously they're not interested. You don't want to just keep on sending them a bunch of text messages after that. So that's why you could just send them a couple more emails after that. And also, if you wanted to, you can create a separate pipeline for your clients. So you can have a pipeline based off just this Google review campaign. And you can add right here the opportunity. You would just choose the Google review campaign that you created and then click on save. So all the people that you add into this campaign will be organized in this pipeline. So now I'm going to show you how we can actually launch this campaign and how we can get your clients 30 to 100 new Google reviews. So in order to launch this campaign, you're just going to want to exit out of here, go to where it says contacts, and then you're just going to want to ask your clients for a list of customers that they've serviced in the past. So all you're going to need is their name, phone number and email or at least one of those. And then when you receive that list of customers, you're just going to want to come over here to where it says import contacts. 
and you're just going to want to import that list of contacts that they gave you. So once that's done, let's just say that these are the contacts that my client gave me. I'll just select all the people that I want to put in this campaign. And then I'll click on this little robot icon that says add a campaign, then click on proceed. Then we just want to choose the workflow that we just created, which is called the Google review campaign. And then we can add all these contacts in the campaign all at once. We can choose to schedule a time or we can add in drip mode. So let's say that our clients gave us a huge list of customers that they have. We can go ahead and drip them in little by little. But since this is a small list, we could just do add all at once. And then you're just going to want to add a description for the action. So I'm just going to put Google review and then I could click on add a campaign slash workflow. And then there you go. All of those people that you put into that Google review campaign, they'll start receiving the review offer that I have, offering them a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card in exchange for a review. And if you want to see if it worked, you could come over here to automations. And then as you can see here, you'll see all of the people that we just added. You could click on Google review campaign. And then as you can see here, those six people were updated in the pipeline. They received the initial text message, the initial email. And then after a day, they'll receive another email. After two days, they'll receive another email and then so on and so forth. So that's how we can create a Google review campaign for our clients and launch it to help our clients get an initial boost in Google reviews. If you wanted to, you can charge a one-time fee to launch this campaign. And then you could try to upsell them on other features of your SaaS business to receive reoccurring payment. Or you can use this campaign as like a foot in the door strategy. You can offer to give a business owner a free Google review campaign just to give them a couple quick wins. And when the client that you're working for sees that they're getting reviews and that they're getting a lot of value from you for free, it's going to be easier selling them on your software later. So running these Google review campaigns are great because they can get our clients a lot of reviews in a very short time. So whether you're offering this service for free just to get them on your SaaS or you're offering this service as a one-time fee, I'm now going to show you how to create review automations to help them continuously get reviews after every client that they service. And by offering review automations, you can charge them every single month to continue using it. So to build this automation, you'll just come out of here, click on create new workflow, start from scratch, and then you could just title this review automation. And then for this workflow, you are going to want to add a trigger. And to trigger this automation, you can use a trigger like a tag. Then we can add a filter, tag added, and then we can select a tag. And for this example, the tag would be called sold. And then we can save this trigger. So whenever you give a contact this tag that says sold, this automation will trigger. You can also add another trigger like a pipeline stage change. And then you can add a filter, select in pipeline, and then you could choose the pipeline that you want add another filter pipeline stage. And then for this example, we would do sold and then we could click on save trigger. So whenever a lead is marked as sold in my client's pipeline, that will then trigger the automation as well. So for the first action, we could go ahead and add a wait time and we could do something like one day and click save action. And the reason why we're going to be waiting a day is just to make sure that there's some sort of delay after your clients sell their customers. So then we can add our first text message. And I can write something like this. Hi, contact first name. This is blank with blank. Just wanted to see how many stars you would give us one through five on the job that we did. So I'll explain why I'm writing it out like this later. But just know that for your first initial message, you don't necessarily have to create a good offer like we did with the Google review campaign because the Google review campaign is going to be targeting customers that your client may have not have interacted with in a long time. But with this review automation, your client would have barely been done servicing this person. So they're already going to have that rapport and the trust. And because of that, they're most likely going to leave a review. So we could just click save action and then we can add another wait time so for this one we could do two days and click save action and now we're just going to want to add a couple conditions so as you can see in this text message the reason why i have this like this where it says just wanted to see how many stars you would give us one through five on the job that we did the whole purpose of this text message is to get the customer to send back a number so if they send a four or a five this automation will then send them a google review request where they can leave a review on google but if they send back a one two or three they won't receive a google review request they'll just receive another message saying thank you for your feedback and basically just letting them know that you're sorry to hear that from them so i'm just going to quickly build out this automation and then show you guys what it looks like. So this is the automation that I built out where you guys could do something similar. So after a contact tag is added or a pipeline stage is changed to sold, this automation will initiate. So the first thing that's going to happen after one day, the customer will receive a text message. And this text message is basically trying to get the customer to send back a number one through five. So if they send back a one star or a three star rating, they'll receive a text message basically just saying, sorry for the bad experience. Your feedback matters to us. Now, if the customer responds to this text message with a four or a five, then they'll receive a review review request where their rating will go to Google. And then if they haven't responded to this initial text message, they'll just receive a follow up text message. And then after a few days, a follow up email. And then after a few more days, another email and then so on and so forth. You can build this however you want, however long you like. But again, I wouldn't just keep spamming them with text messages. If you're going to create this automation a little longer, then I do recommend you just send follow up emails. So if you click on condition, you'll see how I built this out. If the customer responds one, two or three or spells out one, two or three, they'll just receive that text message, saving your client from a negative review. 
you. And then if they responded to the initial text message, a four or five, where they spelled out four or five, they'll then receive a Google review request where they can leave a review with Google. So that's how you can build a review automation out. And again, if you go over here to opportunities, all your client would have to do is drag the customer over here where it says sold on their pipeline. And that automation will automatically trigger. And this person will be added to the workflow and they'll start receiving those texts and emails. All right. So that's how you do it. In this video, I showed you how to create Google review campaigns that you can offer to businesses for free as a foot in the door strategy or selling these campaigns as a one-time fee that will get the business owner a lot of reviews in a short period of time. And I also showed you how to create review automations that you can create for your clients that you can charge a monthly fee for to help the business owner continually get reviews after they're done servicing their clients. Also, if you guys are new to go high level and you want to learn how to set up your business, I do have a free course that you can check out in the description. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.